In 1990X, the world had few troubles. However, things started to quickly get out of control. Zombies spilled out into the city streets. AI and military-grade robots went haywire. Demons started pouring out of the underworld. And finally, aliens started invading the planet. Government officials were in a panic. Entire nation's armies quickly fell. The world was losing hope until... The mercenary twins showed up to kick some ass. They are renowned for their extensive survival and combat abilities, but do they have what it takes when it hits the fan? All right, hey everybody. It's an Anomalous Zero. Uh, this is a first look slash first part of a Let's Play. Uh, the edited Let's Play will be playing in the background while I sort of talk over it. If you've been in my channel before, you probably know that I played the demo of this game, I think about a year ago. And the dev worked extremely hard, mostly on his own it looks like, and released it on Steam. Uh, they graciously gave me a Steam key because I am awesome, and they are awesome, and awesome people tend to, you know, help each other out. Uh, when It Hits the Fan is an action arcade twin-stick shooter with local co-op that aims to recreate the feeling of 32-bit era arcade shooter gameplay. I'm reading the box text. When It Hits the Fan is inspired by classics such as Smash TV and Contra, with a little dose of Gauntlet Legends and Zombies Ate My Neighbor mixed in. All four zones are handcrafted to encourage learning the levels in order to conquer and master them. That is true. I've beaten the game on normal mode, and knowing the level layout helps a lot. Zombies, robots, demons, and aliens are invading. What will you do when it hits the fan? You can find a trailer in the description. Uh, there's some free demos you can try, because who doesn't like demos? It's probably similar to the demo that was released before. Uh, you can buy this game on Steam, uh, but not but not only on Steam. Being that it's an arcade game, it will be released on PC, Mac, Linux, but also arcade cabinets. You can order a personal version of the game. I don't know what the price is, I'm assuming he's just doing it himself with some people he knows. Uh, you can find this email, all of the stuff is in the description. Go to the description if you're more interested in stuff like this. Uh, I don't know what other countries use for arcades, but I know I'd be spending a lot of loonies and doonies because it's real hard. Uh, so things get a tray. Enjoy the rest of the Let's Play. What did I hit there? I hit a mine? Yeah, I hit a mine. Please die, you folks. Zombies! Hate zombies. Alright, I lost a lot of time there. Uh, alien hunters. Get wrecked! You can, uh, circle strafe around those turrets. I thought it was dead. Oh. Flamethrower. Flamethrower pierces, I believe? Or maybe it just fires very rapidly. Uh, I'm dying a lot here. Oh my god. So I'm going to go this way, though I believe there is an achievement on one of the difficulty levels for uh, beating the hard gauntlet without getting hit. 
And if it's hard. I don't remember if ice cream makes me invincible or not. Get wrecked, aliens. Oh god. You can actually get that weapon. I've used it before. It's pretty cool. I wonder if you can get... Oh, oh I had a fucking bomb. I was looking at the aliens coming at me instead of the, or the demons coming at me. Because these are portals to hell. <laughs> this game's fun. Though I guess I'm not playing on the hardest difficulty. And I have familiarity with these levels. I'm gonna die a lot in the science level, which is the next one. Uh, the first level was in the demo. But there's a whole bunch of levels that I haven't seen yet. I don't know if ice cream makes you invincible or not. I think the shield protects you from projectiles? I should have probably looked this stuff up before I started playing. Where am I? Oh no. Those cockroaches that spawn more cockroaches are kind of rough. Yep. Fuck. This is a get wrecked. Oh my god, there's too many. Oh, there's a turret here too. Sorry. I didn't really like the shotgun before, but I guess I was just bad. Oh my god. Though it's bad against turrets. I guess that's a trade-off. It's very good against zombies and hordes of monsters, but it's not great against turrets. Because the uh, range... Oh, oh, it's the boss. I remember this boss. There's some kind of achievement for not killing his friends here. So if I get through here... Nah. I think you're supposed to wait up here during this phase? Could be wrong. Get up here. I think. Maybe, or maybe you're just supposed to skill shot it. I don't know. Oh, right. I'm just remembering the boss of the next level. Mm. I got run over. That's fine. That's fair. I'm not supposed to, I don't know if you're supposed to cheese it up here or not. Possibly you're not supposed to? There's an achievement for not getting hit by the next boss, I think. I'm never going to get it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please consider purchasing the game, ordering an arcade cabinet, pressing the subscribe button on my page, or, um, sorry, I'm dying here, or, uh, liking the video, that stuff. 